picked this up at Home Depot. It was on sale for about $40, pretty uh, inexpensive. And uh, this is my first time installing one of these, so hopefully it's not too difficult. Let's open this up and I'll show you what's inside. So we have some hardware here. Here is the install guide. And here is the keypad side for the electronic deadbolt. Here are all the parts laid out. Now the company that make this is called Defiance and here on the box it lists some of the features. This electronic deadbolt can be installed on garage, entry doors, home office, computer room, utility room. So it can be installed on exterior doors or interior doors and it has uh, 10 user codes you can program. Uh, also has a uh, backlight uh, keypad, auto lock with adjustable delay, uh, low battery indicator, and also includes two keys. Now interestingly the box says it's lifetime warranty but the warranty sheet that comes with the device says limited 25 years mechanical and one year electronic warranty. Here is the exterior assembly with the backlit keypad and here's the back of it. This is the interior assembly. Now on the interior assembly you have the uh, battery cover so the battery goes underneath this. Also there is a low battery indicator and here's the back. I'll be installing the electronic deadbolt on this door that goes to the garage. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the old one. So all you have to do is remove these two Phillips screw here. On the new deadbolt latch, there's an adjustment you can do on the length of this, and that's determined by the length between the edge of the door to the center of this hole. So if you look at the installation guide, there's a diagram with some measurements. What they want you to do is fold this line and then measure from the edge of the door to the center of this hole. On my door is 2 and 3 eighth inch. Now if you look at the new latch, there is a small square window here and is stamped with a measurement from the factory. It's set to 2 and 3 eighth inch. That's what I'll need for this door. But if you need it to be longer, you can follow the instructions in a manual. The new latch is stamped with an up arrow. So you want to make sure you put this right side up. Now install the front side assembly. You want to put the cable underneath that latch. Now we'll install the back plate. You notice that there is a rectangular hole here. Go ahead and feed this wire through this hole. Also the plate has a bulging part. This bulging part goes into the door. and install these two screws that came with it. Now you want to remove this cover from the battery compartment and push on this knob right here. Now plug this cable into the back assembly. They also marked it with a red ink pen so that you can see the connector only goes in one way. The next thing is to place this black cable behind this metal tab and then we'll mount this on with the three Phillips screws. Now we'll install the strike plate Now 
now install the four AA batteries. Get yourself some good alkaline batteries. Now enter the default code 123456 and thou set up the direction of the dead bolt. Here we're looking at the user guide and in this table it tells you how to reprogram the programming code which earlier I showed you is 123456 so you probably want to change that to a new code and then there's also a user code that you'll be using to unlock the door so right now I'm going to follow these steps and program that right now to program the unit press this red set button here for one second the unit will beep and then release the button now press the programming code 123456 followed by the lock key now you're in the programming menu. To program the user code, enter 20 and then lock. Now enter your new code, followed by the lock key. Now the user code is set. So now that everything is programmed, I'll show you how to use it. It's very simple. So when you leave your home, if you want to lock it, go ahead and press this lock button here. And you see a deadbolt will lock. And to unlock the door, all you have to do is enter your user code or the programming code and I'll unlock it. So we just close the door, press the lock button here, and it's locked. To unlock it, enter your code, and I'll unlock the deadbolt. Of course, from inside the home, you can also lock using the latch here. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.